It's International Women's Day and Miley Cyrus teases her endless vacation. Lele Pons had the most epic wedding and SZA lets us know what she's listening to. Plus, Lil Yachty is our first Billboard South by Southwest cover star and Morgan Wallen dominates the chart. Welcome to Billboard News, I'm your cruise director Tetris and it's time to board our latest Billboard cover, Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty is a brand new Billboard cover star. We had a candid conversation with the rapper about how he didn't fit the hip hop mold. I came into the music era in a time where rap was one way. It was real gangster, it was real hardcore, it was real street. And a bunch of us kids came in with colorful hair and dressing different. Personally, I was on some whole other shit. Me and Nick made the beat so you know it's lightning. All my blood store beats, so you know they banging. So I did do a couple of things that may have led people to the assumptions that, you know, I was a maybe a mumble rapper or some SoundCloud kid, or I don't appreciate the history of music or at the time, history of hip hop. You be calling all your home, girl, like I'm his wife, yeah. To be honest, I've always been so much more than just hip hop. I mean, I love hip hop, it's my life. I love all music. I, I, like, I'm, a, I'm a student of all walks of music. So this album is so imperative that people, not even people, just like that, I got to do something I wanted to do. And his list of collaborators and people he still wants to work with is epic. Chris Martin, Frank. We've spoken many times, but I've never got to even have a real conversation with him like I want to. I definitely would love to collaborate with him. So I collaborated with Cuddy, but I'd like to do more with Cuddy. Maybe even work with Kendrick. Drake is my brother, so like, you know, we work all the time. Back home, I'm no Prezi, I'm Obama. And there's so much more. You can catch Lil Yachty at Billboard's The Stage at South by Southwest on Thursday, March 16th. Now, if I've got to feel left out of the most epic wedding, so do you. Sorry, them's the rules. Lele Pons and Guida's wedding was the place to be. From the beautiful bridal party to the superstar guest, Lele Pons showed off every aspect of her and Guida's epic wedding, like picking out her dress. Are you saying yes? Yes! <laughs> but it wasn't her only wedding gown. She looked gorgeous in a lace number for the ceremony. Her bridesmaids couldn't keep it together when they saw her for the first time. And neither could her dad, Kayleen though. Her bridesmaids included Paris Hilton and Anita, but they weren't the only superstars to attend Lele and Gwyna's nuptials. Becky G and Nazi Natasha documented their wild ride to the ceremony. And I have never been more jealous in my life. Holding it down for the groomsmen was Sebastian Yatra, who showed off how big of a bash the wedding really was. But now it's time for the honeymoon. Where are we? At Dubai. At Dubai. Adios, lovebirds. Paris may need an endless vacation after partying that hard. Luckily, Miley is one of her besties. When it comes to the sequencing of endless summer vacation, I divided it by two parts, a.m. and p.m., to kind of represent almost like an act. Miley Cyrus is about to drop her eighth studio album, and the singer keeps teasing us. Not only are we getting endless summer vacation this Friday from Miley Cyrus, but a video for River as well. The moody black and white 13 second clip leaves more questions than answers, but we're here for it. Miley also explained dividing the album into two parts, AM and PM. The AM to me is representing the morning time where there's like a buzz and an energy. As for the PM part, she says. It feels that there's like a slinky seediness and kind of a grime, but a glamour at the same time. In the summer vacation and river both dropped this Friday and I cannot wait. We'll have to wait and see how Miley's new album charts, but we already know Morgan Wallen's new album is killing it. Move over Tay. Morgan Wallen's got some records of yours. He's breaking with his new release. So can you believe I'm on the radio? Start you should know. Well, there's a few things we think you should know. After only four days of release, Morgan Wallen's One Thing at a Time has broke the record for the largest streaming week ever by a country album. The set released March 3rd has earned more than 315 million on-demand official streams, surpassing the previous biggest streaming week for a country set, logged by the first week of Taylor Swift's Red, Taylor's version, which collected just over 303 million on-demand official streams for its 30 tracks. 
what you think about me. And check this. Morgan's track list boasts 36 tracks, and depending on how many land on the Hot 100, Morgan could be looking at another record. It's International Women's Day, and we're also obviously listening to SZA's SOS album on repeat. But what is she listening to? We found out. I am on tour, so I'm not listening to music right now, but I'm trying to think, what was I just listening to? It was like that David, D4, he makes like really emo, beautiful music. I need you here. Well, I'm always listening to like soothing stuff, so always like Miles Davis. From like cold chain and stuff, because it's just like, it's wordless and like keeps my brain clear. This soothing stuff, Mac DeMarco. Here comes the cowboy. That kind of very soothing stuff right now. That's it for today. We've got another South by Southwest cover story for you tomorrow. And I'm talking to Currency. This is Billboard News.